Sadly, it's not all about celebrations tonight. A man in the East Bay needs help to find his food truck after it was stolen early this morning. And if losing a vital part of your business on Christmas Eve wasn't bad enough, it's also preventing him from helping others in need. Kelsey Thorin has that story. The owner of Touch of Soul here in Emeryville is asking for the public's help. He woke up this Christmas Eve to find his food truck was stolen just hours before he was supposed to host an event in it, giving out Christmas meals to the homeless. Eric Scott is still trying to come to terms with what happened to him. You put um, 6,000 hours in, and um, somebody come take everything from you in six minutes. Eric woke up Sunday morning and did what he does every morning. He drove down to the store, bought supplies for his restaurant, Touch of Soul, and then went to check on his food trailer. But this morning, when Eric pulled into the parking lot, it was gone. Oh, man, I was furious. I mean, it's, it's something you'll never imagine to happen. The nearby store caught the robbery on camera. In the video, you can see a white car parked in front of the food trailer. Then seconds later, it pulls away, taking the trailer with it. Eric says the worst part is that he was supposed to be using that trailer for a big Christmas Eve event just hours later. We usually give food out to the homeless in the food truck. So we had a big event coming up to give food out to the homeless. You know, we're going to try to continue to do that. But right now, kind of put it like a damper on our program. Now, Eric is just hoping the police can track down the suspects and get his trailer back. If not, he says he'll most likely have to raise money to buy a new one, and that could take months. Well, right now, we're, we're trying to, you know, keep our hands crossed and be positive that um, the police or um, the agencies um, recover it and get it back. Now, when it comes to that Christmas Eve meal event Eric was supposed to have on this day, he says he had to postpone it. He's hoping to reschedule it soon, but that all depends on whether or not police are able to get his food truck back.